Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 16.4 RC update on my iPhone XR. So as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 5.06 gigabytes on my iPhone XR and also on the all the devices, it will be above 5 gigabytes. So the size is more than 5 gigabytes because whenever you are updating from beta to a stable series of versions or RC, it totally reinstalled the operating system. So that's why the update size is huge and it took me uh, around 45 minutes all in all to install this iOS 16.4 update. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are the new features and you know, what are the new changes that you can expect with iOS 16.4 RC. And probably this is the same version that you are going to get next week if Apple doesn't find any more new bugs with iOS 16.4 RC. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So the first thing first, let me go to the settings general and about section. You can see that the iOS version says iOS 16.4. And if I tap on it, the new build number with iOS 16.4 RC is 20E246. So you are going to get the same build number, same update next week if Apple doesn't find anything new issues like that and they don't release iOS 16.4 RC2. And talking about now quickly about the new features, there have been many new features which I have been covering with iOS 16.4 beta 1 to beta 4. So all the changes that you have seen in my videos, iOS 16.1, then 2, then 3, then 4, all the changes are combined with this iOS 16.4 RC. So the one new feature that I wanted to talk about on iOS 16.4, that is voice isolation. So that now the voice isolation is available when you uh, call somebody, let's suppose I call this number and you can see on the control panel, I already have a mic mode which says standard and I can change between standard voice isolation and wide spectrum. Now this is not only available to your regular calls, if you use FaceTime calls and also so those will be available there as well. So this is a good add-on, a new feature that you're going to get with iOS 16.4 RC update. The way the people get update is going to change. If you see that in the software updates, we have now a beta update section. If you are a registered developer or if you have specifically you know, uh, registered your email ID to the iOS 16 developers beta or the public beta, then only you'll be able to receive the update. So the concept of profile is going away. Still, you can download the profile and use it, but Apple is going to discontinue the, you know, profile thing. So that's some one more major change that is coming up with iOS 16.4. The first thing I wanted to talk about that there's no new modem firmware update with iOS 16.4 RC at least on this uh, iPhone XR. But whenever you're coming from iOS 16.3.1 or iOS 16.3 to iOS 16.4, there will be of course a new modem firmware update. So now talking about the new changes here, I had taken a screenshot from the internet. As you can see, these are all the new emojis that are going to be available with iOS 16.4 update. All this, you know, new heart color options and then Wi-Fi emoji and all this emojis are now available with iOS 16.4 RC. You can use this emojis in iMessage and then you can, you know, use this emojis to express yourself better. So that's the new thing that with iOS 16.4 that you, of course you're going to get. Apart from that, there are few things. Let's talk about those one by one. So the first thing is if you go to the settings and then go to the accessibility, let me find the accessibility over here. You can see that voiceover. Now voiceover is supported on two different application, weather and map. So while using weather application or whether using Apple maps, you can use the voiceover. Within this accessibility, there's an option called motion. So there's a new option which is dim flash lights. So if you turn this on, it clearly says in the description that video content that, you know, depicts the repeated flash lights you know, strobing lights will be automatically dimmed. So if you're a person which you get disturbed with the flashing lights and whenever you're seeing some video on social media, you can just turn this on and it will help you with that. And also you guys know about the new curl animation, which is available now in the Apple books. So how you can, you know, enable this animation, you can go to the settings and you can click on this uh, themes and settings 
and from there you can see there are three settings slide curl and none so this curl option is again back with ios 16.4 so apart from that there are few changes even with the podcast application and also with the apple music if you know or if you don't know this march 28th apple is releasing their apple music classical so there are a couple of app related changes to you know apple music now talking about taking a look at the battery here as you can see the battery health hasn't dropped on this iphone 10r this is my secondary device so i would not be surprised if the battery health is not dropping for a long time because i don't use this phone if you can see for last 10 days i only have a screen on time of 15 minutes and screen off time of 13 minutes so i have another phone which is iphone 12 i use ios 16.4 beta updates on that I'll try to you know make a battery life and performance review of IS 16.4 RC update if you guys are interested in that and also you know there were a couple of issues like swipe home animation people were actually frustrated with that kind of issues because whenever you open any application and then you swipe home there always used to be an animation lag so those issues have been now fixed with iOS 16.4 update so next week whenever you are going to get ios 16.4 update probably those issues would be fixed these are all the new things that i could find with at least ios 16.4 if there are any new things that you think that there are new with ios 16.4 please let me know in the comment section below there are a couple of changes here and there probably i am missing out on those uh, at least can't remember while making the video but then again if you guys find anything new make sure to you know comment those in the comment section below now talking about the performance i've just installed it few hours back so the performance in general is fine and also i've been using ios 16.4 beta so in terms of performance at least with this iphone 10r it's an old iphone at this point in time i would say so the performance is not an issue so if a four year old iphone can give you a good performance with ios 16.4 then i would definitely say there are less issues with ios 16.4 now talking about the performance from another perspective if you talk about geekbench 5 so i've just rammed the geekbench 5 after you know updating to ios 16.4 rc the scores are in front of you the single core score is 1101 and the multi core score is 2415 so these are the you know geekbench 5 scores with iphone 10r on ios 16.4 rc let me know in the comment section below if you have already installed ios 16.4 rc with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that we have received ios 16.4 rc update and if you are someone who is using beta softwares or beta profile then you would be sort of able to get this update so then again that's it for this video i hope you have enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you on my next video Bye bye